Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And, uh, well, on Windows 11 22H2, the bug fixing updates have finally arrived about an hour ago. And uh, I was expecting it today as they rarely release on either Monday, Friday, and they almost never release on weekends. So I was expecting that this probably was going to happen today. Same exact fixes, by the way, as there is in Windows 10. Uh, fixes one um, thing about the um, Syria um, uh, time change. Uh, there's a few things about uh, the change the name of the Republic of Turkey to Turkey. And uh, currency change in Croatia from the Kuna to the Euro. Uh, but apart from that, um, fund driver host.exe stops responding. This one is different um, than when you compact use compact fund format version 2. Uh, C at CTF monitor, text input host.exe that have memory leak problems that were fixed. There's a dynamic lighting effect that is actually fixed also. Um, Windows Firewall Profile, when you are on a domain, a authenticated network detects a public domain is wrong. Um, Outlook, that stops responding when you uh, do Internet Printing Protocol Printer uh, using the, the, uh, the, the Internet Protocol. There's also a error using print, um, using V4 print drivers. Um, name of the mobile operator wrong in the cellular settings for those that are mobile. There's uh, update makes country and operator as, uh, settings asset profiles up to date. Um, blocks external connections uh, that can happen in uh, certain issues. Uh, firewall configuration service provider updates uh, when it stops a device from syncing. Um, affects devices on which you have defined Windows information protection policies uh, protocol. So there's quite a few changes that are more than Windows 10, actually. I thought they were the same at first because I looked quickly, but uh, there's more on Windows 11 in the fixes than Windows 10. Windows 10 has a shorter list. Uh, we have also, what do we have that could be interesting? There's a Microsoft Defender Application Guard, if you're using that, uh, that is fixed. Uh, an issue that affects PowerShell versions greater than 7.3.1 might blocking might block scripts and not let run in constrained language mode. Um, what else do we have that is interesting? Um, there's an update that addresses an issue that affects the automatically hide the taskbar settings, and there's an update issue that affects the device management client. So that's pretty much it. Um, and so what happens here is that this brings this uh, update. First of all, is KB5031455. So what you have to do, of course, if you want it, if you don't, you just ignore it. But if you want it, you go into your settings and you go into Windows Update to check for the updates. So it was quite fast on my machine to install. And the bill number that you'll get is 22621.2506 because, yep, still no... Uh, 23H2 uh, for now. So uh, it seems that uh, Microsoft's holding on to 23H2 uh, at some uh, other point in time. Um, I don't know why it's waiting so long for it to actually happen. Uh, we've seen a lot of move of uh, files. There are some people that have spotted some of the 23H2 ISOs on some servers. So, you know, it's kind of imminent, but it's uh, not today. And so, like I said, 22621.2506. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.